Hello, welcome to this quick video on mastering network automation with Ansible. So in today's video, I'm going to go through a very simple network automation example using Ansible. And we are going to be configuring four Cisco routers. And I've got some NTP servers that I need to clean up. So this is just a, an example of what can be achieved with Ansible and introduction to network automation. So let's get into it. So just to show you what we're playing with, I've got EVNG running. I have four CSR routers, nothing connected. There's just four routers spun up just so we've got some devices to connect to. And I'm going to connect into this one quickly and show you the NTP config on here. So currently I've got all these old random NTP servers. So this has been built up over years of configuration. People have added NTP servers, but then they've not deleted the old ones. So we've got all this redundant config. So what we're going to do is use Ansible to go in. Uh, we're going to rip out all of the servers, and then we're going to configure our new default golden config servers. So let's put that out of the way. And I'm going to run you through the Ansible setup. So I will put a link in the description to the Git repo for this code if you want to take it. Um, but we've basically got Ansible set up here. It's installed on an Ubuntu uh, 22 machine. And if you like what you see here, um, I do have an Ansible network automation course, which goes into this a lot more deeper. I'm just going to run through the basics here. So we've got Ansible installed on this Ubuntu machine. I'm using VS Code to connect to that uh, Ubuntu machine. And within the Ansible setup, we've got a folder, uh, which I've called Network Automation with Ansible. And within that folder, uh, we have a few files. Uh, there is a host file. Now, this host file is where you define all your devices. So I've created this is a group. So I've created a group called CSR routers. And then within that group, I have four routers, CSR 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that is the IP address of the router. There is an Ansible config file. Uh, we're not going to worry about this too much in this video, but this just defines some defaults which are a little bit different to the out of the box Ansible configuration. And we've got a hosts var folder, which we're not going to use in this example. And then we've got a group vars. So these are variables which are relating to all the devices. If I wanted to configure host vars, these would be specific uh, configuration lines that would only be relating to the single device. So the group files, there's a file called all.yaml. So everything in here, this will be relating to every single device in my inventory. If I want to go into it a bit deeper, I can then create another file. So for example, let's go into the group files and I'll create a file called CSR routers. And then I could define uh, some data in here that would only be respective to them. So the information in here would override what's in the all.yaml. Um, so that's just uh, a username and a password, the OS of the devices. And then the main one here is the NTP server, which I've defined. So these are the ones that I want to uh, configure. So this is NTP server one and two. These are my golden servers that I want to configure. So now let's go to the playbook. So Ansible uses what they call a playbook. It's a YAML file and it's written very easy to understand. Um, it's, it's in this form of some tasks and they use what's called Ansible modules. So this is an Ansible module, the cisco.ios.os command. It's a module, which is basically a block of code. Um, which Cisco have done all the hard work to figure out how Ansible is going to connect to that Cisco device, how it's going to create the SSH session, and how it's going to interact with the device. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. So you just use the module and then use the commands. Now, if you want to see how that's configured, uh, if you just Google Cisco iOS, iOS config, this will come up. It's the Ansible documentation. And this shows you uh, what the config modules are about. These are all the options that you have. And then the most important bit is the examples here. So uh, Ansible will give you 
uh, some simple examples of how you can use the iOS config module to configure a Cisco router. So what we're using here is this iOS command. And then we're using the command here to run a command. So if you know the Cisco, we're running the show run command. And then we're going to register the output of that into a value called config. So just going back a step, I'll just say that we are going to run this playbook against all of our hosts that are in the CSR routers group here. Then we are going to issue the command show run. We're going to save the data into a value called config and then this is the clever bit down here so one of the problems with ansible is it's not good at uh, setting state um, and actually seeing what's already on the device and then adjusting it so we have to do a little bit of work here and i'm using uh, a regex command to set a fact which i'm going to call underscore servers and that fact is going to be the ip address or addresses of all the ntp servers that we find in the configuration so what's going to happen is the playbook's going to run it's going to connect to all four routers it's going to do a show run command it's then going to save the config and then we're going to use this value here the config.std out which will contain the entire config and then we're going to do a regex find all any part of the configuration so the carrot here underscore ntp server so any part of the configuration that starts with ntp server and then any number of white space characters and then multi line equals true so this means it can occur over more than one line so we're basically looking for any config that starts NTP server and then has some data after it across multiple lines. Then we're going to use the iOS iOS config module and we're going to run the command no NTP server. And then we've got in here a, a variable called item. So this is actually a loop. So what it's going to do is it's going to loop around and say no NTP server with items and then we're going to use underscore servers so what we're going to end up with is a list of ip addresses of all the current ntp servers the playbook is going to run a no ntp server against each ip address and then we have got the final element of the playbook here which is the config module which is going to do the command ntp server and then within this variable, we're going to pick uh, NTP server one and NTP server two. So within these curly braces, we are putting a, a variable here, and that is defined in the all.yanimal. So these two here. So we could, within our playbook, we could just write in there 192.168 and put the IP addresses directly into the playbook. But what you try and do with Ansible is to write the playbooks that don't contain any actual data. It's the playbook is writing the commands, the doing elements, and then you put all the data aside into your variable files, which means this playbook can be uh, reused for many different functions and it's not tied to the specific IP address of the job that you used it for. So let's let's do it let's run the playbook so to run an ansible playbook we do ansible dash playbook and then it's called ntp.yml and then i'll talk you through what's actually happening so this is what an ansible playbook looks like when it runs and it's done the show run on the router and a green is good so it means it's managed to connect to every single router it's getting the current configured ntp servers that's all green and now within Ansible, anything yellow is a change. So if it's done something, um, it's changed it. So what it's done here is it's now removed all these old NTP servers from these routers. So you can see on CSR1, it removed this one. It removed uh, this one from CSR1. It removed that one. And then the task configure new NTP server, again, 
all yellow, all changed. And we've now completed. So this is the completed play recap, which says, right, I've hit four routers. You've changed on all of them and we've got a green OK status. So we can just go and prove that. So I'm going to go back into my CSR router here. If I do a show run include NTP, we should now just have two servers. So there are those two servers. So let's do that once more. And I'm going to put uh, no NTP server. I'm going to remove this one. So say someone went in uh, tonight and made a manual change on this router, which is bad. So they've, they've done that. They've ripped the server out. So we're now out of state. So we are not running as our correct config. So this playbook would run again. And this time you'll see that three routers will have no changes on them. So what's happened here is we've still removed, so it's got no concept of the, the right and the wrong um, IP address. So it's just basically taken off the good ones again and put the good ones back on again. Now that could be tweaked a bit more if you really wanted to get into this. But we've now put back on all the correct uh, routers. Now I can go one more and I'll show you how, um, what's going to show you what's going on in the background right under the hood. And we we'll use an Ansible debug for that. So we're going to run the Ansible playbook once more. Ansible playbook. And we're going to limit it to just one device. So we're going to say just do this on CSR1. And then we're going to do minus VVV and that is a debug. And I forgot to actually put the playbook in ntp.yaml. So run the Ansible playbook ntp.yaml, limit it to just CSR1 and debug the whole thing. So this gives you full audit of what's happening under the hood. Um, we'll let it run through and then I'll go back and show you what happens. So this is all the what's happening. No. So what's happened is we do the show run on the router. So this is doing show run. So here is the full config that's been spat out. So this is what Ansible takes. It's taken the full config. And then this is the best bit. So they get the current configured NTP servers. So we're using the Ansible facts module and we're setting this fact called underscore servers. And here it's picked out the two IP addresses. Now these are, as I've said, the, the good ones, but it's picked out the all the IP addresses that are configured. And then it's doing the command down here, no NTP server against that one. It's doing no NTP server against this one. And then finally, it's actually running the command NTP server and putting them back again. So what you could do is you can have um, this config and all your configuration set within these variable files. Now this can be, you know, you're literally most of your configuration, the entire configuration. And then this playbook could run every night over the devices and just keep applying the the same config on just to make sure that you're you're stable so i hope that's been helpful it's an introduction to ansible an introduction to network automation um, and you can hopefully see the benefit of this in that if you had to go and do that manually four devices is not a problem if that was 400 devices and you had to to log into each one 400 times make the changes manual changes save it come out do everything it's a lot of work. All you have to do to scale this out is go into your host file and add all the devices into the inventory file here and push the button and let Ansible do all the hard work. So again, my name is Roger Perkin. I am a CCIE in routing and switching. I'm a network DevOps engineer based in the UK and I've got a network automation course. Um, if you just click the link down below in the description, it's got my website. 
please hit that subscribe button and I will put the link to the Git repo um, for this code if you want to use it and have a look around. I've got plenty more videos on Ansible and how it works. So uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.